This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Gardening 2019. Fencing. This is where I'm going to do my first tomato garden. Start at the edge here. Come all the way to here. I'm going to have a little bit of a discard. And then I'm going to take this dirt, make a growing bed over there for peppers. And after I get uh, chicken wire down in here, this line started. There. I'm running across there. I'm going to put down dirt, that dirt over there. Okay, after I get uh, chicken wire under here, running that way, and chicken wire underneath there, and running in between on the gardens. Well, I'm not going to do that yet. First, I'm just going to take this and put it there, and then dig this out, and Freaking have that right there put over there, and that's going to be my tomato patch. So I figured I would do that first. Should get a bit after. I'll even get a picture of the Okay, so we've got the, or I got the chicken wire put here, going across, and down under, like a little bit. Got it going to there. Now, after I did all of that, I'm able to see how much chicken wire I've got left. Looks like I'll be able to go all the way around the rest of the shed right So, it's a good thing. Now, after I'm done with that, I'm going to run ear fence that way. Frost, pull this down into here and make it growing. Bed. Should have all of the bottom part of the shed on all the way around covered or have chicken wire down under. So. Okay, I finally got the in. I put chicken wire on this side of the house. 
up to here. And then right here, your fencing goes up. Goes to the end of the antelope garden, over to the shed. I finally got the chicken wire down, like I said. Dug out a trench here and finished the Finish the chicken wire underneath there. I didn't do the back, I'll do that later. Zip underneath there. Started the deer fence. I wanted to get to it that you can actually see the fence. I started it across here. Ended here. Stuff. It's very hard to see. This deer fencing is good, but the only problem is it's almost invisible. So if you put it up, you might want to put something up on the top. Think about string across and then farm. But it's almost impossible to see. The birds have been hitting it. Now with the fencing up, the dogs get to run free. Robert's dog sitting next to him. I took your picture. All right, it's April the first, and I'm fencing up. It's a chicken one. It's pretty sure and it's Around my letters, up on guns to here. Not really that great of a fencing job, but got it done. That's what it looks like here. It turns. Here it turns. And I have all the way down outside. I said it's not pretty. I have me this one. And around here, I finally put string on top, place this pole, sit it right here to hold this up, keep it straight. Put string up on top of here. I'm going to probably have to put galvanized pipe up too because apparently it's not just groundhog, rabbits, and, uh, squirrels. Skunks that we got to worry about freaking up. All right, so that bull is coming up here and then knock the fence down. Finally got string on this. Get a picture of that. all. And I'll show you the other side. Okay, I just showed you the southwest side of the house, the backyard. This right here is the northwest side of the backyard. Got a rope right up here. Running. So, so yeah. 
the other day. No, we got through. It's broke. We could have also been crashed. This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.